Uh, Sarah Scanlon. Sarah is from the National Campaign LGBTQIA. All right, Sarah. Hi, everybody. Thank you. You folks up there, you can see and hear and everything else. Okay, great, great. Well, first of all, thanks for coming out. Second of all, the reason we're here today is to talk about the next 48 hours and the fact that we in California have a have a job to do, and that job is to overwhelmingly show the rest of the country that Bernie Sanders is the only candidate to win the nomination. So, and the only way we can do that is by getting out and talking to people. And if everybody in this room would just take a minute and volunteer for a short time and get out and talk to your neighbors, talk to your friends, talk to your relatives, make sure that everybody knows that on June 7th, the only thing we can do is vote Bernie, vote Bernie strong. So that's our job today. But other than that, it's have a good time, talk, mingle, make sure you know when it is you're gonna be out working in the field, make sure you know who you're gonna be talking to and what you're gonna be saying, and then get out of the street and do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Feel the burn, that's right. Make sure others are feeling the burn as well. My name is Harris and I'm with KPFK Radio. Oh, come on, yes. We are the progressive voice here and uh, we're looking for the progress that is coming. If you are alive, then Bernie Sanders is probably the right pick for you. If you plan to be on this planet for another 10, 20, 30, 40 years, you have skin in the game. Does anyone here drink water? Uh, I to All right, yes. How about air? Do you breathe? Yeah. All right, Bernie Sanders. How about shelter? Are you a, I prefer a roof over my head kind of person? Yeah. Anybody like a paycheck? Yeah, that's good too. Anybody want to retire and not live on the sidewalk? Yes. Hello! Yeah. Yes. So I think we're all on the same page. There are seven billion people on the planet. All of us happen to be the same kind of mammal. So we have one guy, we're all rooting for him, and that's why we're here today. It's all good, clean fun here. And we have somebody so spectacular, so special, so fun, and has been a leader in not only excellent storytelling and great theatrical Hollywood monkey shines. <laughs> Recently on HBO, one of my favorite shows, whose prostate is probably working better today than it was on the TV. None other than our own Tim Robbins. Hello. So, um, my father grew up in Long Beach. And um, he, uh, he, did, he moved the family out to New York City, but um, my grandfather was here for and so I used to come down here all the time to visit my grandfather, and so I love Long Beach, and so uh, thanks for coming today. Uh, thanks for supporting Bernie. Um, so what are we gonna do? 48 hours, as Sarah says. Already now, right now, CNN is, is uh, calling the election. Calling the nomination for Hillary. I was listening just now. It's uh, because of the Puerto Rican vote, eh, because uh, the, the, you know it's, it's, she's not going to win it today. But they're 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 saying, but, but by Tuesday, it's for sure. By Tuesday, for sure. This narrative that they've been promulgating from the very start is a false narrative. Um, they virtually ignored Bernie Sanders uh, when. She has uh, 200 to 500 people show up, they'll be there with the cameras. When he has 20,000, 30,000 people, they're not there. And so you have to ask yourself the question, why? Why is that happening? Why has it been happening since the start? And the, the answer is that she's been the presumptive nominee since the very start. That Bernie Sanders is a thorn in their side. He's not supposed to be here. He's not supposed to be galvanizing people because he's getting in the way of their narrative. And since he's been getting in the way of their narrative, their response has been to try to ignore him. 
But because he is so strong and because his message is so strong and because, mainly because, people like you are coming out and saying, no, this is a democracy. You don't get to tell us who our candidate is. We get a choice in that. All right. Yeah. And in state after state, in caucus after caucus, people have been coming out and saying no to that narrative. No, we do not want her to be our candidate. And they've been voting for Bernie. And they've been coming out and supporting. And by the way, so many volunteers across this country, so many volunteers putting in their time, quitting their jobs, traveling cross country. I just talked to someone from Michigan outside. Maryland. Where else? Nevada. Nevada. People are from all over this country have been galvanized by this candidate. And this is an important moment for us because this moment is saying to the establishment, to the whole country, no, we will not be content with marginal gains, incremental gains, that big change is needed, big change is needed in the way we think about the environment, or we are going to compromise our environment to a disastrous level. Big changes are needed across the board in all kinds of, 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 of areas. So many people do not see Hillary as the candidate that can do that. And so, beyond November, we have started something here. We have started a movement. And it is a movement that does not look to the mainstream media for validation. We know we are creating our own story. And it is being reported by new media on the internet. And that story is a story that has at its essence the truth of what we really need. And that truth will carry on. Regardless of whether Bernie is the candidate, that truth will carry on. And so the real work right now, aside from the next 48 hours to get out the vote, because part of what, the re part of what they're doing today on CNN, by talking about Puerto Rico and by talking about, oh, she's, it's, she's got it locked up, part of that narrative is to discourage people from coming to vote in California. That is what that is all about. So our job right now is to encourage people to vote, vote in California and to give Bernie a big win in California so that he can go to Philadelphia and say, wait a second, if you can't win California, you can't win this country. So let's do the work. Yes. I know we want to have some cocktail. <laughs> but let's do the work. Because the real cocktails will be on Tuesday night when we win this thing. Thanks for coming out. My name is Raymond Gutierrez. You know, I got out as a staff sergeant in the Army. Uh, I served in Af Iraq and Afghanistan. <laughs> um, I'm really not into politics, to tell you the truth. And this, I have really haven't decided who I'm going to vote for. But being here, being here, and just hearing this little campaign, You're you guys, for you guys, That's you guys, kind of got my vote, man. Like, you guys, yeah, you guys got my. I feel the burn right now. <laughs>